In a small office down a long hallway, Pritchard Police Detective Bart Andrews is working on another case of child abuse. Most cases are of a physical or sexual nature, but all also carry with them a level of emotional distress. Andrews makes cases against offenders, but he's not alone. Here, where we do a charge, we'll have the DA's office already here. We'll have DHR, we'll have USA Hospital and their nurses and all these counselors that have done more forensic interviews. And uh, so we'll, we have a lot of people when we decide on charges. Down another hallway is Jessica Caitlin with the district attorney's office and through another door, DHR. Thanks to the teamwork, the conviction rate is high. Before any of that can happen, the victims are set on a road to recovery. That's the top priority of the Child Advocacy Center. With the number of cases they see, it's an uphill battle. There's different ways we help, so there are different numbers for that. But we'll have close to 500 new cases every year. Those are just the most severe cases. The numbers can be overwhelming, but thanks to the dedication of the staff and support of the community, help is given and lives are changed for the better. And that's why this place works, in my personal opinion, is because they get to know each other, they get to trust each other, they know what their limits are. There are certain things law enforcement can do, there are certain things DHR can do, certain things that therapists can do. Good morning, Janet. So maybe the staff is dedicated, but it also takes money. Of the annual budget of $780,000, only a small percentage of that comes through government funding or grants. Most is through people just like you. About 75% of all our funding is from people who believe in our work and who support us. Reporting from Mobile, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.